Hey everyone, it's Miranda, and today we're going over a space-saving idea of how to unmount your wood-mounted stamps. So if you have a big pile of stamps similar to what's shown here in this picture, then you will benefit from this space-saving tip of unmounting your stamps. So I begin, obviously, with a wood-mounted stamp, and I'm going to be unmounting this so I'm going to be taking the red rubber stamp off of this wooden block here. Now as you could imagine this will save a lot of space. So in order to loosen up the bond I'm just using my heat tool here and I'm just heating up the glue so it will loosen up. And then as you get that glue heated up it does soften a little bit so you can kind of peel back the stamp little by little. And just be careful and do not burn thyself. This is really hot and it is uh, concentrated heat, so just be very careful. And also, I do use, um, to get these off, I use a spatula tool. This is just from my Cricut, but you can order these separate if you don't have a Cricut, and I'll have those linked for you. But basically, uh, you just want to pry that stamp off of the wood mount block. Now if you'll notice I'm prying it off I'm taking the foam and the red rubber stamp all at once. Now that is ideal. That's exactly the way you want to do it. There are instances where the red rubber just comes off and the foam does not come with it. That's okay too and we can fix that problem but I'll go over that a little bit later. But in the meantime try your hardest to get the foam off with the red rubber stamp and the way I do it I just take it little by little you don't want to just grab the end and just start peeling all in one you know motion because you run the risk of ripping the foam off of the back so I just kind of roll it off with my thumb little by little and it usually comes off pretty clean so you have the wood block left over you can always save those and make another craft out of them or just display what the sentiment says maybe on the front but that's up to you so now that you have your stamp unmounted you can take a piece of acetate or just like the pro overhead projector uh, transparency films and you can just cut those down and just stick your stamp on there and it will still have a sticky back usually since it's came off of a glued you know where it was glued onto the wooden um, block and then I just made up these little folders and I just put these uh, my stamps in these now I will have a video coming up really soon and I'll show how I made these little folders from items from the Dollar Tree so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video and I did say if it did not come off the foam and the rubber stamp all at once that we could fix that. So if it just peels the stamp and then the foam's not coming with it, you can always get a little bit of a zig two-way glue pen and add just a little bit of the glue onto the back of the rubber stamp to add some adhesive so it'll stick to your stamp block and then go ahead and let that dry and then you can mount it to your stamp block. So here's before and after pictures and you can see exactly how much space that really does save. It's amazing. It really, really helps save a lot of space. So if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate your subscription and to hit the little bell button so you'll get notified when I post. Thank you for watching.